All right, y'all, y'all girl is back with another Benny Johnson and your girl B. Y'all, Trump's lawyer is not playing with nobody. Let me tell you something. That being said, y'all, this says Trump lawyer warns Jack Smith vows criminal probes after case implode fell into his own trap. Now, did y'all really think that these people in Trump was going to be playing with y'all? Y'all already knew to start cleaning house and dropping all these charges because it, it shouldn't have been on them to begin with. This is ridiculous. 34, y'all, federal charges against one man that they all put on this man. And now everybody and their mama dropping the cases left to right. Ah, and just when Jack Smith thought he was finna drop them cases and stuff like, uh, like he should have done a long time ago because it shouldn't even been a start to this mess. Anywho, y'all, Trump lawyer ain't playing. You get a letter. 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 And you get a letter. Come here. Come here. Come here. Take this whipping. Okay? Take this whipping. So with that being said, y'all, I'm going to be quiet. Y'all, let's dive into the video. Let's go. And the sun will always shine on the old liberty tree. It's a tall old tree and a strong old tree. And we are the sons, yes, we are the sons, the sons of liberty. Mike, what's up, bro? <laughs> Thank you for having me back on, Ben. Oh, of course, Mike. I'm so <laughs> We're just doing celebration guests uh, here uh, in, in, uh, in honor of thanksgiving and a, a season of thankfulness and uh, you have been one of the people who have uh, truly truly deserving of a celebration dance right now uh way to go um you are stomping on jack smith's greasy beard and stomping it right <laughs> into the mcdonald's french fry fryer and i'm proud of you yeah i mean uh, what kind of controversy and headline news can we create today ben i think that we should what we should talk about is the fact that these Democrat operatives who ran this unprecedented republic ending lawfare against President Trump, his top aides like Steve Bannon and Peter DeVarro, who went to prison, uh, his supporters on January 6th who were politically persecuted. I think the Innocent. Trump 27 Justice Department needs to open a criminal probe on what Jack Smith and Jay Bratt and uh, Alvin Bragg and Matthew Colangelo and Tish James and Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade and even these Democrat judges like Ingeron, Mershon, and Shutkin have done when they waged this unprecedented, unlawful lawfare against President Trump. Uh, and it was obviously election interference. And so I would open a criminal probe under 18 USC Section 241, Conspiracy Against Rights, a very serious federal civil rights felony. Jack Smith is very, very aware, uh, well aware of this statute, 18 U.S.C. Section 241, because it's one of the four counts he brought against President Trump in D.C. for the bogus indictment of the former president for objecting to a presidential election, which is allowed by the Electoral Count and the First Amendment. And I say this very seriously. They need to open this criminal probe because if they, they must face severe, mm. and I mean severe, legal, political, and financial consequences for what they did to our country by dragging a former and future president through this lawfare and election interference, they have committed a very serious federal civil rights felony, along with many other crimes, mm. uh, 18 USC Section 241. And I say this very seriously to Jack Smith and Jay Bratt and all the goons on their staff. You guys better lawyer up because justice is coming. Would Ooh. you serve a special counsel, Mike? Uh, I, I don't think I think you don't need Senate confirmation. No, no, you don't need Senate confirmation anymore. They, they we know the new rules, Mike. Listen, I think there are better three lawyer people up. who I uh, who I recommended to be AG. I, I didn't know Pam Bondi was interested. She's the best of them all. So I'm glad that she uh, st she came forward and agreed to serve as AG because she's fantastic. But special counsel Mark Paoletta, uh, special counsel Chris Landau, uh, special counsel Jeff Clark would be great. The problem is, is I've run my mouth too much hmm. on your show no. and too many other shows. And so I have to, like, recuse from too many of, of, of the cases if I were the special counsel. But in all seriousness, Ben, there has to be accountability. They, they're not going to just get away with 
what they did. They made mm. what they spent a hundred million dollars in taxpayer money. Uh, what did President Trump have to spend? What did these other witnesses have to spend? What did state, and local, and federal law enforcement have to spend to have President but Trump go to these various hellhole court BS. proceedings and protect him while he did this? There has to be accountability. They knew what they were doing was bogus. They knew it was all about the election, and that's obvious by the fact that they shut down these uh, these investigations and these prosecutions after the election, after right. President Trump beat their asses like a drum on November 5th. 5th, 312 electoral votes. And guess what? Now he's going to have an attorney general and U.S. attorneys and an FBI director. The hunters are about to become the hunted boys. Ooh, I like that. Mike, they could just just one, just a small special counsel position. You could be in charge of spanking Big Fanny. Think about it. <laughs> uh, that would that would be an interesting job. I, I mean, I mean, hell, Nathan Wade got seven hundred thousand dollars to do that. So maybe it's not such a bad gig after all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we made news, Ben. We you made just news. Said, you just you 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 brought up a point that you haven't brought up on the show before, Mike, which is that you could charge Jack Smith with some of the charges he brought against Donald Trump. Could you unpack Ooh. that? Uh, yeah, I mean, one of the charges that Jack Smith brought in his bogus indictment against President Trump for January sixth was eighteen U.S.C. Section two forty one conspiracy against rights for President Trump's non crime of objecting to a presidential election which is allowed by the Electoral Count Act of 1887 and the First Amendment. Democrats object, objected to Republican wins in 1968, 2000, 2004, 2016. We don't see Al Gore and John Kerry and Hillary Clinton in prison for objecting, right? And so mm. Jack Smith brought this bogus charge. They only brought these charges by these Democrat operatives because they knew President Trump was thinking about running again. And then the then right after the election, they decide they remember before the election, Ben, oh, the election doesn't matter. On, this is about justice. And then after the election, they leak out that they're going to drop these things immediately. Look, there there Hold have them. to be consequences. This yes. this dirtbag Jack Smith got banished to The Hague after he went after Virginia governor, former Virginia governor Bob McDonnell, a likely presidential or vice presidential cont- contender in 2016. This scumbag got brought back because he is a partisan scud missile who Democrats launch against Republican presidential or vice presidential contenders. Uh, Jack Smith should see the inside of a prison for what he did. And th- th- that would be done through a special in counsel investigation via the justice, appointed at the Justice Department? That's no, how it, could, would... it doesn't even have to be done through special counsel. It could be done through the, the criminal division, the U.S. attorney, for the Southern District, I think that what needs to happen is the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida needs to open a grand jury proceeding in Fort Pierce, Florida, on this criminal conspiracy against rights against all of these Democrat prosecutors and witnesses and operatives and even judges who have engaged in this republic ending conspiracy against rights. So it could USC Section 241. It could be Jack Smith's home that gets raided by the FBI next. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, that, that, that would be... That would actually be just as compared to what he did. Really quickly here, because I know that a lot of people are talking about it, uh, and Same I know we have a hard out. Um, the pardoning of Hunter Biden. Will it happen via uh, Joe Biden? Will it happen? Will Trump consider doing it? What's your take, Mike? What would be your advice? Well, I would say this. If Hunter Biden or Jack Smith or any of these other Biden allies get pardoned by President Biden, then that means that they can no longer assert the Fifth Amendment rights to not uh, to not incriminate themselves, the right against self-incrimination, and so if they're pardoned, that means that they can be hauled in before the Trump forty-seven Justice Department, before grand juries, before mm. House Republicans, uh, Senate Republicans, the House Judiciary Committee, Oversight Committee, Appropriations Committee, Senate Judiciary Committee, Senate Oversight Committee, Senate Appropriations Committee, the the Intel committees. So maybe they should be careful what they ask for when they ask for a pardon because then they have to testify. And if they refuse to testify, they can be held in contempt of Congress or uh, obstruction of justice, and they can go to prison for that. Wow. I just find it remarkable they come after Matt Gates for disproven fraudulent claims, yet you can crack open Hunter Biden's laptop and click on literally anything and find something f- from the halls of hell, literally. Um, and nobody's ever, nobody's ever brought that up. Nobody's, it's all on video. Nobody's ever brought it up. Nobody's ever said a damn thing about it. Swept up underneath the rug. Party of women, Mike. 
Um, okay, great. Well, we look forward to you as special counsel. Don't need Senate approval. As we've said many times, we've figured it out. Mike, Mike Davis. Davis. Jack Smith proved you don't need the Senate to confirm. And so special counsel Mike Davis is going to be really fun. We call him the Viceroy. We encourage him to grow this very long red mustache that he can twist with <laughs> wax at the very end of it and to uh, wear a t- uh, big hat with a feather in it. Ooh, and so ain't no running, y'all. For Christmas, in fact. Ain't no uh, running. And so Mike, expect that in the mail. Ain't no running, y'all. Thank you, Wait, Ben, no and running. I look forward to the Media Matters screaming headlines after this hit today. So, <laughs> All right, Benny and Mike. 310,000 Americans. Y'all. Can't be wrong. Follow Mike Davis. Benny, Mike, and Davis, the B Show. Y'all. Uh, ain't no running. It ain't no running. Yeah, we coming. Yeah, they coming. It ain't no running. It ain't no running. Trump, they coming. I, I, Trump, they coming. Yo, his team, they coming. They coming for y'all. Ooh, I know y'all wish y'all wouldn't have done what y'all done, baby. Trump and his team ain't playing with y'all. So even if they did get to pardon y'all, they got to testify. And I would love to see that because we know it's nothing but lies is out there. That's crazy work. That's what y'all get. That's what y'all get. That's what y'all get. God don't like ugly. And all of y'all was damn so ugly.